Hello everybody, my name is Mr. William and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking on this one. Today I have the pleasure of introducing you to The Escapists 2. So The Escapists 1, the original game, was an absolutely huge part of my channel like two years ago. It got insane views. I really, really enjoyed watching it and playing it myself and editing it together. The thumbnails that I made for the series were pretty funny as well. Like, I edited my face into different prison escape scenarios and people absolutely loved it. Now, the people at Team 17 who make The Escapists emailed me like, Will, the game's out in a month, but you can have it a month early because... So I have access to two of the new prisons and also a tutorial. As you can see, the new menu is... Uh, is new and it, it looks so much better. I don't know what the main difference is going to be. I've not watched anyone else's videos. I've not played it myself yet. You can make your own characters. And the people at Team 17 also mentioned in the email that some familiar faces might be in this series of The Escapists. Now, I don't know if there's any leaderboards. There's versus mode, so you can do multiplayer, which is cool. I have no idea what the criminal record is, but I don't think you can click on it yet because it, it doesn't highlight I'm not sure but this is the beta version at the moment whatever you see in this might not be in the full version of the game but who knows my characters so we can make our own characters these are characters at the moment that you have in the game and I think this is how you change the names of them in each prison I guess but play game welcome prisoner the escape is a sandbox game where your goal is to escape from prison there are many different things you can do many different ways to escape and how you do it is up to you if you're new to The Escapers 2, a good place to start is Precinct 17, a short tutorial which will teach you some controls. Well, since I've not played it in like two years, I probably should do the tutorial, which is Precinct 17, which we'll do in this episode of the game. And then we could start the first prison, which is Center Perks 2.0. So Center Perks 1 was in the first game, Center Perks 2.0. And then I also have access to this one, which is Rattlesnake Springs, which is like a cowboy themed one, which looks quite cool in the Wild Wild West. Um, so what I usually do with the games is I get the comments and the names of you who comment can be the prisoners, the guards in the series. So we'll see how long the tutorial takes with the first prison. If we get out of that, then we can comment for everyone in Sense Perks too. If not, then we'll definitely get your names for Rattlesnake Springs, which will be sweet. I can't load anything. Browse games, I think that's multiplayer, but if we go on, nope, new game. I did not mean to do that. I meant to go on Precinct 17 and on a new game. Sweet. I wonder how, how they do the prisoners. I will find out. So, I bet you want to hear about how I, the incredible Rods had escaped, huh? Yeah, if you want. <laughs> so, just put your shoe, yourself in my shoes for a minute. I'll talk you through it. So we're on a beach, and that dolphin, what is that dolphin doing at the bottom right? I have no idea. So this is how it played out. Oh, so, right, okay, lights out. We've got a new mini map in the top right of the screen. Everything looks beautiful. So I got up one morning uh, and moved around uh, and went to the desk. Just moving around just looks so much smoother. Everything. I opened the desk with E, okay, E, and then we get the sock and the soap, and I think if we put those two together, that should make a sock mace thing. I crafted my weapon using Q. Okay, Q. And then, what did he say? <laughs> uh, I highlighted it and crafted the two items together by using left mouse button. Okay, so Q. And then do we find what we need? So we need a sock mace. So these are all the crafting recipes, so last time, we didn't know any of the crafting recipes. We had to figure it out ourselves as you went along. But now it looks like, yeah, they tell you what they are. Apart from a couple of things that are question marks. Interesting, right, so sock mace, we have the items so we can craft that together, which is cool. Okay, the key to success is to not draw attention to yourself. I used the yellow arrow. Oh, at roll call, I, I'm too slow for this. Did they know it was up to something I had a plan? Okay, try to relax in this situation. There's only four people. There's an officer, there's Pip. Right, okay, there's Chuck. You're here because no one else wants to. Okay, I like the, the minimap, the minimap's cool. Although this is gonna take some getting used to. I only just got used to the last game and now we're doing it again. Ugh. Pip and Bob, casting fear aside as I'd done with the modern values of whole life, an inmate called Chuck was of interest to me. I had a hunch, green arrow by the stairs was trying to tell me something. Green arrow by the stairs. 
about this. You could go upstairs and downstairs. Right. Okay. That's interesting. Aha. Is this Chuck? I think this might be Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Nobody looking. I equip the sock mace. Okay. Um, and I attacked. Get it, Chuck. Oh, we, you can attack them now without like... Oh, that's cool. And then E into his pockets. Get the sign key. And uh, swiftly made for the evidence room. Okay, we're in the evidence room. Opening the desk with E, I stole the tools. Like, oh, he's just getting run away. <laughs> we open it, right. We got the tools. We're escaping already, boys and girls. We're escaping already. And the exact place to use my tools, once more, I use a green arrow to guide me. I don't think we're going to have the green arrow in uh, the actual game. I should probably put the sock mace away. It looks like you, you carry it around. Oh, I still got it. I mean, I don't know. Sweet. Right, you carry it around here. And look at this dude on the treadmill. That's Pip. Right, okay, it's very different. So in the last one, you had to highlight people before you attack. But now, uh-uh. You just attack. You, you just go for them. Look at the warden there. It's got... Oh, it's so cool. What happens if we click on this? Can, does it come up big? Doesn't do anything. Right, um, okay, we go in here. This is my room. We've all already got a thing over the door. Okay, tied my options. I picked up a bed sheet. No, I didn't want to go to sleep. Uh, by holding E, okay. Holding E. I equipped it using tab. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, tab. Okay. Um, have I equipped it? I have it equipped. <laughs> and then put it on here by pressing the space bar. Why isn't it working? Um, let's... Uh, Unequip it so we have that. And let's equip it again. Okay, it worked. I don't know what I did, but it worked that time. Okay, are you familiar with the phrase out of sight, out of mind? Well, on that note, uh, get the pickaxe equipped. Yes. And chipped at the space in the wall. Okay, sweet. All right, the controls are a little bit different. It takes a little bit getting used to. But I think we're good, to be honest. I think we're good. Oh, it's meal time. Using the green arrow, I headed to the food hall. Okay, right, well, uh, let's hide the axe then and let's go to the food hall. I'm glad I did this because otherwise I would be screwed if I went straight into the, the Sense Perks 2.0. Especially, I would be very, very screwed. Right, so, oh, that's where our health, energy, and fighting stats are, something like that. Energy levels replenished. My freedom, my goal, I managed to keep the food that I consumed <laughs> and come back here. And then let's get the pickaxe again. Oh, I don't click. I don't click. I keep clicking because that's what I'm used to. We space bar it. We space bar it and then we're through, baby. Oh, pass me the suntan lotion. <laughs> okay, uh, away from prying eyes, I opened the desk with E and grabbed everything from inside it. All right, one step at a time, boys and girls. One step at a time. An adrenaline shot and some cutters. Right, okay. Holding E, I pick up the desk and place it down beneath the vent. Nope, that. There. Yes, there. Sweet. Okay. Um, once I highlighted my adrenaline shot and consumed it with space, right, got it. I pushed against the desk and climbed onto it. Oh, sweet. And equip my cutters. Yes, and press space. Right, here we go. We're escaping already. I mean, it's not like they're telling me how to do everything, but we're escaping already. And after this, more suntan lotion, please. The heat is brutal. Okay, we, we escape and we make it to the right. Boopy doopy 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 doop. And get out of here. I'm excited to see what I look like in the game. That's what I'm so excited for. Oh, it's space. I keep clicking. I keep clicking. Maybe you can change it to a click so I don't get it wrong, but no, I'll, I'll get it right soon. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what I look like in the game. If it's even me, I think they said there's a liquor. Oh, there's a lockdown. The lights were all flashing. One of the screws must have noticed me missing. Panic set in. Uh, there's a shovel waiting for me. I picked up using E. And then I get it. And then... Um, Tab, yes, tab, there we go. Frantically in front of the door. Oh, it's lockdown time. They know I'm in here. They're coming in. Uh, drop it down, use an E. Oh, drop down here. Sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, 
Right, shovel, I can dig ahead in a precise manner. Oh god, this is intense already. How how is this how is this happening? <laughs> What's going on? Do I want to go this way into here? No, I don't. I don't know. I cleared two underground spaces ahead, uh, dug into the second open space in front of me using space, which allowed me to come up through the other side into the car park, if my calculations were correct. Okay, how do I do this then? Oh, dig upwards, so I have to do it into the empty space. Right, okay. So it, it takes a little bit getting used to, and I think I might possibly get it wrong at some point. But up with E, and we're out. Across the car park, I saw what looked like something useful. Uh, these dudes here. Right, uh, the cutters that we need to equip, and then we space bar it, and we get out of it. Oh, there's a shady looking guy on, on the opposite side of the fence. <laughs> right, and then we go out, and there we go. We escaped already, and that's what happens. Well, it's fascinating stuff, Robinson, it really is. Thanks, I'm surprised I haven't been caught yet, though. Oh, he's gonna get caught, isn't he? I doubt they'll ever catch me now. The police are gonna come. The, whore, the dolphin's still humping in the corner. Oh, there he is. Oh, the speedboats, helicopters, everything coming to get Mr. Robinson because he's a naughty boy and he escaped from prison. And he's on a deserted island. That is a lot of... Oh, God, there's a massive Titanic ship coming along now. Holy moly. So that is the intro of The Escapists 2, back with some sick music. Knockouts 1, items crafted 1, favor 0, tiles destroyed 7. I didn't get a score, but, I mean, that is fine because it's just the first intro of the thing okay uh, but if we go on my characters I think if we change it to will like this is me I think skin color um, hair there should be ones with stars that the youtuber so I think that is in the little wood I think that's Jacksepticeye could possibly be me, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Or one like this with more ginger hair. Who knows? Um, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, this guy here, you all know who this guy is. That's Dan TDM, like, that's quite an obvious one. But me, I'm not sure which one I actually am. But if we go, uh, let's just go back. Yeah, I don't care about uh, that. If we go on, play game, we go on center perk on a new game of center perks and just create this. Okay, center perks is a two, blah, 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 blah. Right, um, I don't know if we're gonna do this, but yeah, sweet. Okay, so the inmates, if we go across and look at some of them, like that is Jacksepticeye, so it has a name. That is, uh, there's Dan TDM, and there's Martin Littlewood, which is cool. And there's me, that's, that's Mr. Williamo. I mean, it's, it's cool that my name's in the game, but <laughs> I don't know why that's me. Blonde, um, is it is it just random names? It might just be random names. Wait, can we find another, someone else? Like, that's Dan TDM. And now, in this one, Mr. Williamo has a beard and blonde hair. So I don't think they're actually designed after me, except Martin Littlewood always has that. And I'm pretty sure Jacksepticeye always has green hair. So I don't know why. I'm different all the time. <laughs> let's, let's do it again. So that was Martin Litwood that time. Um, there's me. That one, I have ginger. I have no idea. Maybe I'm a shapeshifter. I think I'm a shapeshifter. I think that's what we're going to have to conclude. <laughs> I am a shapeshifter. Right, okay. So before we start this, um, we can go on uh, my characters. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a character, and then we'll start Center Perks 2.0 in the next episode. And if you comment in this video, I will try and put your name in one of these off screen and then we can come back on and be like, oh look, that's me. Uh, so Clive, you can get changed to Will. All right, mate. All right, we can have a, do we, I don't know which one we want, we'll have that one. And we'll, we'll try and create my character a little bit more like me uh, to what uh, Team 17 have done. But I'm pretty sure the ones with stars next to them are supposed to be like youtubers possible. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's a Spanish youtuber that's in here as well uh, But we want to go for Possibly This one I'd say that is More me there than any others 
We could get a cheeky little beard as well. <laughs> should we get a beard? I don't know if we should get a beard. Or just a little one. Maybe we should get a little one. Um, yeah, let's have a little one. We can have a hat on too. Is there any special starred hats? Oh, you can get one of these guys. That's quite cool. Uh, but then you can't see my hair. Uh, so we're not going to have that on. And glasses. I have glasses on at the moment. Can we have different glasses? We can. Or no glasses at all. But I still have headphones on because... Yes, right, sweet. Okay, so far, that, that is me. I might change it off, sc <laughs> off screen or not. But there's loads of different character customizations which wasn't in the first game, which is awesome. Leave a comment down below and I will put you into one of these. And then the characters we can randomly generate and they should be in the game. We might have me as Will, my character, and Mr. Williamo in the game, which is sick. We can escape with Jack Septicai, Dan TDM, Martin Littlewood. That's awesome. I'm excited to get into this, man. It's, oh, they've got attack dogs. They've got attack dogs. You know what? Um, let's just go into the game. This might not be the one we play because I want to add you guys into it. Uh, but we'll just start the game and see what it's like at the beginning. Just to see. Just to show you guys what it's like. But then I'll create a new one with your names on for the next one. Right. That's right. So we get to choose our character here. So yeah, I'll just be that because it comes up with all the other ones. Welcome to Centerpux 2, your reform starts here. They still let me have headphones in prison though, which I don't think they should do. Don't think they should. Mr. Rilamo has joined the game. Lights out, all out. Oh, we can't see uh, all the routine. Oh, sweet. We have a toilet. We have, yes. We have Will's desk. I'm next to Mr. Williamo and Mr. Williamo has brown skin and blonde hair. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, okay. If you've got any tips for me on the Escapers 2 as well, because I know it's different, let me know. Smash the like button for more Escapists. Let's make this an insane series on my channel again. I love you all. Have an amazing weekend. I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.